Good morning everyone. Today we have Royal Saffron Bear. One of the most delicious ganache you can make for your praline. Beautiful taste, aroma. It bring you a very nice experience. That we learn today, so keep tuned. If this is the first time to watch me, my name is Ahmad Yunis. All this art in my YouTube channel, bread art, sugar art, chocolate art, sugar presentation, wedding cake, everything you imagine, even keto diet, you will find and gluten free recipe. In beginning, we have to spray the mold. So if you not you see the video how to color the cocoa butter, 100 gram melted cocoa butter, 45 degree. I added 10 gram of ruby color or red color, whatever color you want. And then I blend it. Then I strain with the cloth and then I tempering 29 degree and I start to spray with 0.8 millimeter spray gun. Then I have 100 gram cocoa butter with 10 gram titanium oxide or white color. I blend it. I strain the same way I make the red one. And I keep it overnight in room temperature. So I don't spray and cover chocolate. This second day, I tempering the milk chocolate, 30 degree, and then I cover the mold. I remove the excessive chocolate. I vibrate the mold to get all bubbles out. Very important step. So I keep it after I vibrated the mold from 50 to one minute. It's very important to shake all the mold to take the bubbles out and keep it 50 to 60 seconds. And then I have this light shell. So it's depending about you if you want to make light shell or thickness shell. You can keep it longer. Then as you see, I upside down in one wood stick. And I keep to take all over the excessive chocolate. Here we go. One bear, one full bear. I cut cubes. This bear exactly bring me 200 gram of bear cubes. I cut it all. If you have bear puree, you can use it direct, but a lot of people, they don't have. So I have 200 cubes, 30 gram of water, and I have low heat temperature. I cooked very well till becomes puree. As you see, when the bear becomes so soft, I mix it, I take only 100 gram of this puree. 100 gram of puree, half gram of Iranian saffron and 15 gram of tourmaline. This is tourmaline. If you cannot find tourmaline, I will leave the link below how to make tourmaline sugar. In this channel, you will find everything you're looking for. When it's boiled, I keep it three hours to infuse. As much as you leave it, as much as you have a lot of the aroma. Then I added 200 gram fresh cream. I keep stirring and boiling in very medium heat. And this is important to reduce the quantity. Then I blend it all. So the bourree, the saffron, becomes more infusing. Then I pour all this boiling ganache to 500 gram white milk chocolate. 
as you see the chocolate white is shank so I try to use the spoon to get more soft so I can use the hand blender in the side I keep 30 gram of butter room temperature so I blend all ganache to be emulsify and then I wait till it becomes 30 degree or 29 degree then I added the butter 30 gram of butter and this very important because some of the chefs they added the butter when the ganache is hot and that way you lose the consistency and the flavor here we go 30 degree I added 30 gram of butter and I keep stirring with hand blender now my ganache is fine I leave it in the room temperature 24 hour normally I spray the mold I prepare the ganache one day before I used and this is very successful way We emulsify and you can see the ganache is shiny, is full of aroma and taste. The mold is ready, now I can feel my mold when they have right temperature. You can add a piece of shank hazelnut or almond, whatever nuts you have. Or keep it plain. Now you can cover all the mold with tempering chocolate and then we keep it in the fridge 15 to 20 minutes it's depending about your fridge and then you have the most tasty royal saffron ganache bonbon if you like this video please leave a comment below ask me whatever you want to do we have over than 50 recipe of royal ganache Thank you so much.